what is up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so for this particular video i kind of wanted to go ahead and do a pros and cons of being in a dancer community as you guys know i recently hit one full year of being a dancer and i just wanted to go ahead and give out some pros and cons you know i actually have a lot typed up in here so if you want to be a chismosa then keep on watching okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in I'm going to start with the pros and the first pro is we make our own schedule. That is one of my favorite things. We can make our own schedule. I can skip a week. I can skip two weeks. I can come in one day a week. It's whatever is on my terms, you know. Second one being coming at your own time. We open at 10, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I have to work and start at 10 p.m. I can come in at 11, 12 etc um we do have a deadline though it is at 1 a.m that's the latest you can come though but it's pretty flexible you know and then the third one is do whatever you want during the day so since we open at night i pretty much have the whole day to myself i can do whatever i want so that's that's a big con you know i mean i'm sorry that's a big pro fourth one is spend more time with my family since i have the whole day since my schedule is very flexible, I figure everything out on my own and, you know, I can spend more time with the fam bam. Fifth one is sleeping all morning. Like for me, Friday, I work all night and then I don't get home till early in the morning on Saturday. So I sleep in all Saturday and then I get ready for work at nighttime or whatever. So, you know, your girl needs her beauty sleep, okay? Sixth one being amazing money. The money we make, I've never made at any job, even with full-time hours, um, picking up more hours. Like, I've never made this amount of money. Like, I used to work for DCFS, and I would bust my ass. There was literally three shifts, and I worked the first shift, but, you know, we could always pick up shifts and whatnot. I would literally stay there, sleep there. Like, my schedule was crazy, and I only made, like... For busting my ass over there, I made like a thousand four hundred after taxes, and I make more than that in a night, you know. And that was a two week check, so the money clearly is the probably the biggest pro here, you know. Seventh one being walk in with nothing and walk out with stacks. So I literally just walk in with seventy five dollars every time I work because that's our house fee. That's what we have to pay before we even start working there. So after I pay rent, I don't have, I have this much. I have this much. So then I walk out with, you know, well, y'all y'all already know what, what I walk out with because I be doing uh, money counts on here. So yes, and then the eighth one is high tips, make your own tip amount. So if you get a room or whatever, you can talk to the customer and you can work like, you can work out a tip amount um but yeah pretty much you know if the room is a high amount like 500 you're gonna want to ask for something similar you know so our tips are really good um next pro is bless other people so like i said you're making so much money that sometimes you want to give back you know some people sometimes i see people in the street asking for money i like to bless them give them like 20 or whatnot it just depends you know if i'm out eating i like to give my server a good tip just because i used to be a server you know and i just I feel like once you're gaining a lot of money, you should bless others, you know? And then the next pro is dance in your own style. So although we do dance like with a pole and whatnot, one of my clubs, well, the only club I work at now because I quit the other one, the main stage is not a pole. So we can basically, you know, dance our own style and whatnot. And I feel like that expresses us more and it also makes us different from every girl because every girl has their own style of dancing so it just brings like a variety in and i just love like dancing in my own style you know the next pro is sing your heart out at the club girl when my song comes on best believe i be i promise you guys and my next pro is when you're sad just being somewhere where the focus is just hustling and getting money because strip clubs i'm sorry i have like my notes here Strip clubs are another world. It's the fantasy world, the money world. So once I'm there, all my outside problems are out of the way, you know? So if I'm dealing with something in my personal world, like this is my personal world. So when I have problems, like realistic problems, 
I don't bring them to the club with me because the club is literally the fantasy world. It's the money world. So my focus is not on my problems and my pain. It's on getting that paper, you know? That's all my focus is on when I'm at the club. So it takes me out of like being sad and just focusing on the hustle, you know? Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the cons. So the first one being, we can't leave if it's slow. So if we open at 10 p.m. and I get there at 10 p.m. and I open, even if it's slow all the way up until one o'clock, so that's what, three hours of it being straight slow, not $5 to my name, I can't go home, you know, I can't, I have to stay there. But after five hours, so 10 p.m. to 3 a.m., I can go home if I choose, you know? And then the second con would have to be, have to still dance on stage if no one tips and just looks. Trust me, you guys, there's definitely these people that come in and strictly just sit down and watch you. Like, they like you, but they broke. Hold up, girl. I had to fix my chair for this one because... Okay, so the third one, the third con is no one tips and just looks. The fourth one is broke people will come in and not spend a dime. The fifth one is broke people who still sit on my stage set. So if you're broke, please don't sit on my stage set. Like, I'd rather have you looking from your table afar than you coming to my stage set, sitting down and just looking and not tipping. Like, you, that's disrespectful as fuck, you know? And then the sixth one would be smelly customers. Yes, bro, we have smelly customers. And sometimes you smell so bad, I just have to sit there like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> you're so funny. And the whole time, I'm just like holding my breath. I'm like, oh my God, it's just outrageous, bro. Okay, so I think this is my eighth con. So it is bad breath customers. Oh my gosh, smelly customer and bad breath is just the duo the get the fuck out of my face duo <laughs> like we literally will have not all of them you know i'm not speaking for every customer because a lot of the customers be and they smell good and i always ask them like oh what perfume you got it smells like this one and it'll be like dior and like all this shit like i literally know how all these expensive ass perfumes smell now that's just how bad it be sometimes i'm just like whatever this is my ninth con so ninth con would have to be People who try to lowball us. Yes, we will have those type of customers that we obviously explain the, the dances, the hours, prices, whatever with them. And then they get the cheapest dance, which, okay, whatever, $20. And then they'd be like, oh, well, how about 10? I'll do it for 10. And I'm just like, no, as if I make up the club prices. like. And I'll be like, no, no, you, I can't do it for 10. They'd be like, okay, 15 and that's it. I'm like, get the fuck out of my face. Like, I don't, I don't got time for all that. Like. I hate those type of customers. Like, don't try to lowball me, shorty. Don't even try it because I don't make up the prices. And I always tell them, like, I'd be like, oh, okay, $500 for an hour. They'd be like, mm, how about $300? Bye. Like, I literally get up and I'd be like, bye. So my 10th con would have to be customers who think time ain't money. Because it definitely is, especially ours. <laughs> 11th con, songs on my playlist I never asked for. 12th con would be girls who like to bark but don't bite. Yes, they like to sneak this in groups, but when it's one-on-one, -on -one, they look away. Like, I know there's always going to be club drama and like girls get really when they together and stuff. But literally, they not shit, so whatever but that's just annoying you know so i had to throw that in there you know what i'm saying next con would be paying thousands in taxes <laughs> but yeah you guys that's all for today's video i hope that you guys got some type of knowledge from it we do have to deal with some stuff that i rather not deal with you know like the whole smelly customers and whatnot but for the most part you know i don't like to judge people especially if like i'm taking your money <laughs> you guys understand like what we have to go through it's not just all rainbows and daisies and shit but i just wanted to lay it out flat for you guys everything from my pros and my cons but that's all for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one peace